Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Well Ice Therapy. We're over in Liverpool. We've got a world champion, the W IBO World Welterweight Champion, JJ Metcalf. Brilliant to see you, mate. And you, me. So how you doing? Well, listen, you kind of went AWOL in Dublin. You won the title and fucked off. I mean, it was brilliant. We never saw you. <laughs> went partying, yeah, celebrating the um, Temple Bar Street. A few of the lads. Well, listen, let's just let's go before we talk about this week. Let's go back to that night. What a night, mate, and uh, world champion. It's it, amazing performance. Yeah, it was brilliant night. You know, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. It's something I'd look forward to since I was a kid. So, to, for it to finally happen, I was buzzing. And I tell you what, it was quite a tasty build up. You and Dennis Hogan weren't particularly friends that week, but I mean, your boxing skills just outshone. Yeah, I think it's just um, the work rate and the, the strength and pressure sort of just won, won the fight over for me. And then, um, you know, the game plan as well, everything sort of worked and went in my favour. I know we spoke to you sort of before the fight, sort of not in the interview, but just had a quick chat with you. And you said you were very, very confident. What made that camp sort of better than any of the others, more confident to win a world title? I think it was the wins had just come off. You know, um, just became in Legraga and... You know, I just felt I was on the right on the right track, building up momentum, sort of thing. You know, not many times in my career I've had like a couple of fights after each other, so you know that all played a part in it. Well, no one could have been happier to see your arm raised that night. I mean, it was so so good. Um, big smile on your face. Massive, massive arena, and the fans were amazing, weren't they? Ah, oh, they were unbelievable. Yeah, you know. Even the main cat, main fight as well. I got got back out to watch that. The fans were still going crazy. It was brilliant. I tell you what, you had a bit of a ring walk and a half. You got the place jumping, didn't you? Do you know what? That's the first come out to um, the what is it? Pink Floyd start. That's the start of my ring entrance. And um, because I'm, you know, I was fighting Dennis Hogan. He's like a local local lad. They were all booing me. And then as soon as the Irish Rover come on, they all couldn't help themselves but start cheering and singing. So, you know, that that was great. Well, I, I got a bone to pick with you. I got covered in beer at that moment because the two people sat next to me, even though they shouldn't have been in the media bit, completely just chucked the beer everywhere and I got clobbered. <laughs> Didn't you have a beer with you? No. You're not allowed to drink, mate. Aren't you, know? No. Hey, you know, well, no. sorry about that. <laughs> well, listen... I mean, like you said, life lifelong dream, a world champion. How's life been like afterwards? Yeah, it's been good, yeah. It's, you know, it's, the only difference is, you know, I've got that little sort of, I had like a carrying something with me, you know, it's like a relief that I won it. So other than that, everything's still the same. I'm never going to change and, you know, it's just carry on how it's going. Hopefully pick up a few more wins, a few more titles. Well, listen, we'll talk to you about your plans in a minute, but we're here in uh, fight week. It's uh, Jack Cattrall versus Linares. A uh, big fight in Liverpool Saturday night. Um, Linares, a future Hall of Famer, probably. He's fought top, top boys. Um, Jack should win this fight, but he's got to be on his guard, hasn't he? Yeah, he's definitely got to be on his guard. I'm not sure what, what Linares is going to turn up, but you know, I'm sure Jack will prepare for the best Linares. And, um, you know, I hope it is the best Linares, because... It's going to be a great fight if it is. We, we've heard a uh, late stoppage sort of touted a few times. Do you reckon that might be the result? Yeah, do you know what? It's hard to say. If it, the right Linares turns up, I can't see it's a stoppage. But if it's you know the last the one of the last couple of performances, then could go any time. But you know, I've heard a few stories that he's doing well in the gym. So you know, I'm expecting a good fight. Well, listen, it's it's going to be a brilliant week, and uh, we're down here with the matchroom in the community, um, one of the gyms down here in Liverpool, and like a hundred kids out there just learning and enjoying boxing. It's fabulous, isn't it? To see, oh, it's brilliant. You know, it takes you back to when I was a kid, and you know, you need that in the community. Just got stuck in there, I was on the pads. Next minute, sweating. Kids got me on the pads and everything. So, you know, it's all good fun. We've got you on the pads, actually. I'm going to put that on with this interview. <laughs> that is right. Thank you. You're moving well, actually, mate. You're moving well. <laughs> yeah, I've been in a couple of times today. I weren't expecting this tonight. So, listen, what's on the cards for you? Are you going to put a defence in? Is there another title you're going for? What's happening? Yeah, hopefully, you know, I was waiting to see what happened with the WBA to see if I could fight that Madrimoff for it. But, you know, we haven't heard nothing back yet. So, we've got a few things in the pipeline and hopefully it'll be out at the end of the year or 
early early next year. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed it's sooner rather than later. Um, some really good cards coming up in December as well, so it'd be great to get on one or two of those. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Thank you for having me on as well. Mate, listen, it's always a pleasure to see you. And we, we, we missed you in Dublin afterwards. We were looking everywhere. You weren't in the hotel. I, I had no idea where you were, but I'm sure that belt was around your, around your waist. Do you know what? I'm not, I'm not one for interviews. I usually try and avoid them, but, you know, you're a good fella, so I thought that I'll have to get on with them. You're very kind, mate, very kind. And listen, it's great to see you. I really appreciate your time, and uh, we look forward to seeing you out soon. Thank you very much. Dad.